Hi, welcome to tutorial number 23 uh, for CSCI 130, Introduction to Programming here at the University of Wisconsin Parkside. Just want to make a small correction from the previous tutorial, tutorial 22, when we were working on this example. It says here the product of 7 times 4, and you remember when we were displaying on the screen the answer was 35. So this is actually the product of 7 and 5 because this is being executed five times. If we change this to greater or equal than four, then this will be equivalent of seven times four. But because it says greater than four, it's executing an additional time, and that's equivalent to seven times five. So that's the correction. Okay, now in this tutorial, what we're doing is the um, working on the posting for this session on the app that the the book describes as the I think the calculator the car payment calculator right so for that one I mean I think it's better that we look at figure 9.1 figure 9.1 you see there are here three labels price down payment and annual interest so we're gonna provide those values we're gonna click on the button so and this is this is a, a list box like for example let's say they're supposed that we gave this the interest rate is 4.5 and then this is what we expect to see this is this is the answer so they expect to see um, the um, what will be the payments the monthly payments for 24 36 48 and 60 months so this is equivalent of doing two years that's 24 36 is 3 4 and 5 so we are computing this expression and you see how is that we're going to use the loop well we're going to loop from years on two three four and five and then we're going to compare years in months okay so we're going to design that so what we need to do now is open our visual basic uh, application i prefer to make my own other than just getting the ones that are given from the textbook and i suggest that you do the same thing so here i got a form i changed the title of my form car payment calculator so I want this form to look like the one that is given in the textbook so this is the one that is given in the textbook you see there are three labels there is a list box okay so I got the list box my three labels three text boxes and a button now if you don't have the form yet I suggest that you pause the tutorial and once you're done with the form then you continue okay now something else that uh, I see that they have initialized I see that on figure 9.1 there are the zeros and they are aligned to the right so let's do the same so see if we can do so we check over here and then we have a zero there now that is not aligned to the right so we're gonna go and look for alignment Okay, again we want to align the text so here we sell we be sure that we select the text box text so it's zero so text alignment says left so we want to change that to right okay so we do the same here so text is zero and then right under it says left we change that to right oops let's put the center right then we do the same with the next one text is a zero and then align is right okay so again it is important to have an algorithm so what we're gonna do okay we're asking for a price we're asking for the down payment and then of course we're gonna take on the price the down payment and that becomes the loan and from that loan we're gonna apply an interest there is an annual interest so we need to compute the annual interest on monthly basis so the textbook also introduces uh, build in visual basic function PMT payment that will do the computation for us so we don't need to make our own expression I mean this is something optional we could make our own I think I mean I, I expect that most of you know how to compute interest on uh, for a loan but we can use PMT which is already there PMT and it's the monthly interest and it's the number of months 
and the loan amount and when it's a loan it needs to be expressed as a negative number if not if it's represented as positive it's like maybe an investment or something something else so in our case it has to be represented the loan as a negative number so we need to provide those numbers okay so going back over here then it, this is what is given by the user and we're gonna display them on so we're gonna compute for two three four and five years so let's go and see the sample application 24 months is two years three four and five that's 60 months and uh, we need to do that so we can use as an uh, example the code that is provided on figure 9.18 so on figure 9.18 you see they start with some variables so let's see that makes sense they got years and months and price so that makes sense because we got the price the years is going to be changing down payment so I think we can follow that so we're going to do years months and price so years and months are integer and years are initialized with 2 why? because we're going to start displaying to answer with 24 months which is 2 years ok so let's then click on the button double click and then say dim years as integer initial value 2 dim uh, what's the other one we got years months and price so months as integer uh, they have an initial value of zero so far I don't see the need for that so if I need it I'm going to change that then uh, price down payment so price and down payment are decimal those are the variables that we're going to be using then they got interest monthly payment so another variable monthly payments I'm going to call it like that as decimal you see I got an error over here I type interest as uh, interest so that doesn't exist as uh, uh, integer I guess I don't know unless if we are going to give decimals for interest then we need a double or yeah, I think double makes sense yeah I guess that they say I don't know 4.5 I don't think interest is a whole numbers here I got another typo Okay, so loan and monthly interest, monthly payment. Do I have? Okay, so then monthly interest as a double. And loan as decimal. okay so I think we got all the variables that we need I think only years needs to be initialized I don't think the other ones but let's check I mean we can always change now from the form I see that there will be these values given by the user so let's get price and down payment so I expect that they will do the same thing so down payment price and interest they are getting that from form so okay so let's do that so let's say that okay months equals the numerical value that comes from I'm sorry it's, it's price it's price text box one I'm sorry price 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 so this is price Numerical value that comes from my first text box. Okay, then we got down payment. Down payment.
segment is equal to the numerical value that comes from text box to the text and uh, I think interest annual interest so thus interest equals numerical value given on text box 3 dot text okay so now we got those and by following their example let's see if we skip something over here they um, have the list box items to be clear I mean in case that application was used before I think that makes sense too so let's let's do the same thing so they they have look look at line 16 payments this box that items clear and and that means every time that we're using this let's suppose that we were using this that we're computing this for several customers we don't want the data from the previous customers that use the form to be still there so so that that makes sense so let's say list box one that items that clear there so that makes sense now something else that I like that they're doing over there on line 19 they're gonna add the header of the answer so let's see on here here you see the first uh, thing that they have months and monthly payments right so they uh, put that as the header but they should this shouldn't be part of the loop okay um, I'm gonna stop right here because I have already about 12 minutes and then it's too difficult to upload a file that is that big but okay I mean this is what we have so far if we press F5 there shouldn't be any errors this is what we see the calculate button is still not doing anything but uh, we're gonna continue on tutorial 24 with the last part of this application